This is the first record of ABC that I have seen performing well at a regional level in quite a long time. I'm back to 30% of you guys have not smashed the living crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so we can get to 104,000. The Texas Regional Breakdown is here, ladies and gentlemen. In this regional, there was only one Prank Kids in Top Cut. That tells a much different story than what I've seen. The funny thing is, Prank Kids ended up winning this regional too. Uh, so the one up variant that made its way all the way into Top Cut did its job. We also had the big headliner for this event was the Double Dragon Link, ladies and gentlemen. You know, Dragon Link is present in some events, it's not present in others, but the deck still maintains its prowess as one of the, uh, the top contenders in the format here. Now, I think the thing I like most about this regional was there's more rogue here in this top cut than some of the other previous ones here. You know, obviously you still have your standard Flunderies players, you still have Phantom Knights, you know, present because those decks tend to maintain and do their thing here. But you also had a Sword Soul Synchro based engine pile of cards doing its thing. And then you get down here, then you see heroes. Now, you always will have that one hero player that exceeds expectations, ladies and gentlemen. And I think it's always good to see that heroes are one of these decks that you will continue to see perform up to standard. And I think it really goes to prove, ladies and gentlemen, that the prowess of heroes, you know, Dark Law is a stupid good card. All right? The fact that you can do so many things with just the hero toolbox in general, your opponent can't really out, is, is absolutely amazing. And then, you know, we had one ABC making it a top cut here. Now, that says something, ladies and gentlemen. The fact that ABC is able to perform and keep up at a regional level competition and squeak its way into top eight. You know, we'll have that list here in a second for you guys, but holy moly, what a breakdown. Let's go dig on into those deck lists, shall we? All right, the first list we have here is Flanderies taking down second place here, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, we have no double barrier statue in this build, though we are sharing similar opinions to a lot of the other builds here where we have a double end pen built into the deck. I, I honestly think double end pen is one of the most solid like things that this deck has going for. If you're trying to play one M pen, you're trying to play a dangerous game out here. One stretch, one two can Sam is fine. Uh, this build does extend out, you know, more of your hand traps. You see the bells here and the ogres. Um, outside of that, I, I see very basic stuff here for this list. You know, the double Regeki down here with the dark rollers and the three big balls. Um, honestly, the testicle does a lot of work, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, okay, so it takes up your normal summon. Okay, that's cool, man. You know, I have the magnificent map to give me that extension that I need to play the game. And I know a lot of players are going to look at this and be like, well, you know, like, it is it is what it is. And, I mean, that's fine. You know, the, the cool thing about Flunder is, like, your, your skill trees, your differentiation of combos that you can do, all just being a normal summon reliant strategy. Uh, the reason why this deck is just like the best counter to the meta, it's this little guy right here. All right, M Pen is the reason why this deck is able to perform and do well, ladies and gentlemen. Next up here was the 60 card pile, as we are going to call it for this. Uh, this ended up getting fourth place here, ladies and gentlemen. Now, in terms of sauce, all right, what is like crazy about this like what what sticks out as like cool well of course you see the hop your squadron here so basically you can fire off your borrowed savage here and then you can go ahead and you know hop your squadron warp it on up into you know baron de fluer and then acquire basically an extra negate and i think that that that's really freaking cool the other cool thing i like about you know a lot of these like higher variations in terms of like these pulls of cards is you don't see a lot of these builds trying out like double fusion destiny um they're just like yeah we're gonna play the one so as long as verti anaconda exist you know there's not much of a reason to really extend out and do more of these shenanigans as we're going to say here outside of that small world in a 60 card variant i, I find the fact that this card is able to just kind of bridge the gap here get you key searches so you can set up and do what you want to do in a deck like this and it really goes to prove ladies and gentlemen once again uh when you can get versatility here and you can 
get anything you really want at your disposal here, honestly. I think that's like the real crazy value in this card is just, it searches anything, ladies and gentlemen. Yay, searchability. All right, the first big headliner here, ladies and gentlemen, is Hero. All right, so this is Giovanni Rivera here coming in in fifth place at this regional. Now, straight into the back here, we're main decking double right decking. Now, if you're one of these people that's looking at this list, you're like, why in the heck are you exploring the options of playing Raigeki? Honestly, solid board wipes are a very good thing, all right? Honestly, if you can pair up Raigeki with a droplet, you can go ahead and droplet your opponent. Go ahead and slap that Raigeki on the table there. You just cleaned up whatever threats that you could see your opponent having, you know? If your opponent has, like, Griffin Rider or something, you know, congratulations, you just got the Draco back off the field. You just got the Brave Token off of the field. You did your job effectively here. Now... Of course, I, th I think a lot more of these builds have been going towards the Verte Anaconda route, right? Because two hero monsters just makes the Verte machine, which just gives you the ability to spit out what you want onto the field, right? Like, congratulations, I made DP. You know, the other cool thing with this deck is you get so much advantage with super polymerization. Honestly, this deck shouldn't have a problem with clearing up boards. Um, the biggest problem that I still see with modern era heroes is, well, you guessed it, ladies and gentlemen, Space Rock. <laughs> the fact that Nibiru existed uh, will always check this deck. But to be fair, in a format where Nibiru is seeing, you know, a little bit less play as, you know, time goes on, it makes sense to me that you would see a, a dial back and you could see more decks like this kind of creeping on out here. Um, outside of that, I like the token collectors being present in this list. I like the fact that Stratus is maximized to three. Um, honestly, at the end of the day here, um, the ratios on this deck are very, very, very customized, and I don't see anything that I would deem too out of open field, if that makes sense. So I really do like this list. Congratulations on making it to fifth place here. Now, A, B, C. It's as easy as one, two, three, ladies and gentlemen. The first thing that you're gonna see in this list here that's gonna stick out to you is yes, we are playing Cyanate Universe. All link monsters you control gain 300 attack. Once per turn, you can target one monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck. If this card on the field zone is destroyed by a card effect, send all monsters in the extra monster zones to the graveyard. This is a free EDM clean out, ladies and gentlemen. Also, you get what? A free recycle every single turn? If you are able to kind of judge your game plan here and you have an idea of where you want things to go, well, you can recycle, oh, like, oh, I can, I need to recycle, you know, a Galaxy Soldier. You know, I need to tuck back my Union Driver for, you know, later turns, um, you know, on the follow-up. You can do that. You know, even... You get even crazier down here with, like, a Scythe that you've already used. You can tuck your Scythe back into your deck... And your opponent's just going to stare at you and go, huh, what, what's going on here, ladies and gentlemen? And honestly, for this being like just a tact of one of here, I mean, you can even just pass it on over to your opponent off of the set rotation. And congratulations. All you got to do is be able to, you know, like Nightmare Phoenix it. You get a free clean out of anything that you might deem threatening via the extra monster zones. It, it's, uh, it's pretty freaking useful. Outside of that... You know how many people don't know or understand, like, the power of ABC, ladies and gentlemen? I think one of the things that makes this engine devastatingly crazy powerful is just reauthor unauthorized reactivation, you know, union hanger shenanigans. You know, ABC Dragon Buster is at three here in the TCG, so you get to see so much crazy power present in an engine like this that, yeah, it, it's it's amazing. All right, so that is your A, B, C. And then the last list we have here is actually a 10th place Flunder list here from Raymond Rivera here. And the reason why I wanted to include this was getting the chance to see more interaction points here with Flunder is always good because you, you can see the development and things like this here. The thing that sticks out to me most interestingly about this list here is, yeah, that's a mystic mine. I also see that we have Yield Chevalier de Fleur down here in our extra deck. Oh man, we are trying to be saucy out here. Outside of that, you know, you have Dark Ruler No Mores in here to break boards, double M pen, one barrier statue. I still feel like two barrier statues is really spicy. But there's nothing that screams, you know, too crazy to me about this list. So that's your regional breakdown. 
for taxes out of this weekend. So guys, what do you think about this interesting chunk of regional data? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button. This guys don't miss out more awesome content. And I will see your beautiful faces back here later. There's some more cool awesome content. Peace out, guys. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.